My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today are things that we cannot teach. You know, we spend a lot of time, you know, with salespeople and trainers and managers and owners, you know, working on things that, uh, you know, to help make them better at what they do, help them improve their sales performance. But with that said, there's really three key things that we have found over the years that must be the choice of this person that we're talking to. And the first one is a winning attitude. And when I talk about winning attitude, what I'm referring to here, of course, is a positive attitude, uh, that self-motivation, uh, the drive to succeed, passion, urgency, uh, the will to make it happen. These are all choices. You know, we can't train this. And in order for you to really have the success that you deserve, this is the decision that you need to make, that you're going to have that winning attitude. Um, you know, the truth is I've never met a successful person yet uh, that was making excuses. Number two, work ethic. And when I talk about work ethic, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, digging a ditch, not that kind of work ethic. You know, I'm talking about an, a, an absolute commitment, you know, to get this done. I'm talking about being a self-starter, you know, not uh, not waiting for someone to tell you to go do it, not waiting until there's an emergency for you to do it. Uh, you can't be afraid of making mistakes. Uh, you've got to go out there and swing and swing hard. You know, I'd rather see you make the mistake because you were too aggressive, you know, rather than being too passive. OK, um, you know, so be that self-starter. Go out there and make this happen. The, the other thing I would put under the heading of work ethic is you want to really be true to this statement. You know, is what I'm doing right now going to result in a sale? You know, one of the secrets to this is, is taking massive action and you have to make sure that, you know, your behavior is in accordance with that. And then lastly, you must choose to be coachable. You know, too often, you know, when we talk to folks that, that have some experience, you know, they'll say things like, well, Jim, no, that's not quite how I do it. And the truth is you have to have an open mind. You have to be a good student of this. And you have to have a willingness to step outside your comfort zone. I know a lot of folks that are when they're first getting started at this. Uh, asking for the sale is certainly, you know, one of those things that will take them out of their comfort zone. And certainly asking for their sale uh, multiple times is certainly going to be part of that as well. So be willing to step out of your comfort zone. Uh, be a student of this. No matter how long you've been doing this, you know, this will continually evolve. You want to continually uh, get better at this. Okay. So this has been the Fitness Management Update, Things We Cannot Teach. My name is Jim Thomas. We'll see you next time.